46 is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a Rump's optometrist since 1990, offering full spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727 8300. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a local woman is airlifted after a crash. Police recover a stolen vehicle out of Las Vegas. And awards are presented by Pahrump Valley Speedway. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Monday, January 9th, 2017. I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. A woman was airlifted Sunday afternoon from a collision on the highway. One person was transported via Mercy Air as a result of a two-vehicle crash that happened yesterday on Highway 372 near Red Rock Street. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office, the small sedan pulled out on Highway 372 and didn't see the pickup truck. That's when the crash occurred. The female, described in her 70s, was airlifted and no one else in any other vehicle claimed any injury at the time of the collision. Traffic was diverted around the accident scene while Nevada Highway Patrol conducted the accident investigation. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies were also dispatched to the scene. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And Nathan Harris was taken into custody for possession of a stolen vehicle and other crimes. Nathan Harris was taken into custody for suspended driver's license, turn signal required, displaying a fictitious registration and possession of a stolen vehicle. According to police, on December 29th, Deputy Anderson with the Nye County Sheriff's Office observed a black Honda that he learned was possibly stolen on Highway 372 at the Horizon Market on Bowling Street. He observed a white male standing next to the vehicle pumping gas. The vehicle then left the gas station and did not use his turn signal, according to police. Deputies conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle and saw that the male exiting the vehicle began going into his pocket of his jacket as if he was grabbing something. The officer exited his patrol vehicle and held the driver at gunpoint until another patrol unit arrived. The suspect was handcuffed for officer safety, according to the report. The vehicle identification number was ran and the vehicle came back confirmed stolen out of Las Vegas Metro in November of last year. The driver, identified as Nathan Harris, was arrested and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And Harjinder Kumar is charged with robbery for an incident that happened at a local market. The Nye County Sheriff's Office have taken into custody Harjinder Kumar for robbery at the location of Horizon Market at 961 South Linda Street. According to the declaration of arrest from the Nye County Sheriff's Office, the victim in this case contacted the police to say that he had just been robbed at the market at the corner of Highway 372 and Linda Street by a man he knew as Harjinder Kumar. The victim said that when he arrived at the store, he was pulled out from behind his vehicle and a fist fight ensued. He stated that they took his wallet out of his pants and took $800 in all $100 bills out of the wallet. After they took the money, they departed traveling north on Linda Street. Harjinder Kumar was identified as working at a smoke shop on Highway 160 where police located him and conducted the interview. According to police, Kumar admitted to being at the Horizon Market and also admitted that a fight had ensued with him and the victim. He also admitted, according to police, that he took the wallet. Kamar refused to tell police who else was with him during the altercation. He was taken into custody and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And last night, El Jefe's restaurant was packed with race car drivers and their families for the Prump Valley Speedway's annual awards ceremony. Mark Dobbs, first place. <laughs> Tonight we had our driver's banquet for 2016, and we gave all the awards away tonight. 
And so uh, first, second, and third places in most categories. Right, and all the classes got first, second, and third. The mini dwarfs and juniors and seniors also got first, second, and third. And you had Sportsman of the Year or, and Best Sponsor. Yeah, yes, we had Sponsor of the Year, we had Sportsman of the Year, and then we had a Hard Charger Award. Tell everybody how many classes race on our speedway out here. We have 10 right now in our, at our track, in the dirt track. And what are they? They go from mini dwarfs, mini stocks, coupes, bombers, hobbies, dwarfs, and the modifieds. One of the things that's so great about having this uh, yearly banquet dinner is to see all the drivers here. It's something to see. It is. Yeah, I really like this. This is one of the funnest points of the year for me personally because I get to mingle with all the drivers on a one-on-one -on -one basis where there's nothing involved except just having a good conversation and awards and, and thank yous because I like to thank everybody that comes to our track and this is the way we give back. And also there was some raffle prizes and I know that the drivers kind of trade and uh, kind of uh, when they win something they can trade for somebody else's gift. Right, they can do that. We draw, we start off and uh, every time we draw a ticket you can keep what you drawed or you can trade it for anything that's been taken on the floor for the night. So um, we're starting up again when? We'll be starting up February 11th. We're going to have a big dwarf club show going on that night, King of the Oval for the Dwarfs. So it'll be a pretty big show. When's Test and Tune? The Test and Tune is in January. We haven't posted the date yet for that. We're waiting on the weather to see what happens, but it should be within three weeks. So everybody can uh, get involved in our uh, Prompt Valley Speedway. Find out more about it by going online? Yep, they can go to promptvalleyspeedway.com or they can call me at 702-328-8101. Looking for sponsors, drivers? We're looking for sponsors all the time to help pay out the payouts and we're looking for more race car drivers. If there's anybody out there that's interested in it, call me and I can hook you up with different drivers and help find you cars for sale or even find a car to try to see if this is something you'd like to do. Any big dates that we're looking forward to besides, of course, opening day that people want to keep an eye on? Yeah, we, the Sam Stringer Memorial is a very special race for me. Uh, Sherry does it, and she gives out a college scholarship for it. So it's really good to watch for the Sam Stringer Memorial. All right, keep up to date on everything online, and of course, give you a call. But uh, we can't wait for February 6th. That's the way I am. I'm waiting to get going. What time? It will start at 3 o'clock. Where's the racetrack at? It's at 300 North Panorama Road, right next to Wolfenstein Construction. Should you be taking statins to help prevent cardiovascular disease? That's next.